Hi, this video will demonstrate to you how to create the product analysis sheet in your TC Ice Cream Sense application. Okay, so let's begin. The first thing we're going to do is obviously we're here, we're going to click, since we're on our hub page, we're going to click and open the app. This brings us to our application overview screen. So as you can see, we have no public sheets at this time. We have our sheets here, what we're working on. And obviously when you create it, when you upload the application with a template sheet. So we're gonna start with that. I'm gonna click over here to business requirements in the document for a minute. And it says here, we're gonna make the product analysis sheet. The purpose is to contain visualizations as related to flavors and products. Use the template sheet as a starting point. And it kind of gives you the specifications here and a potential solution. Okay, so let's go back. The first thing we want to do is we want to create our sheet. How do we do that? We right click on the template and it says here, duplicate. And when you duplicate a sheet, it automatically stops it so you can enter the name for a sheet. Last name, it's in your last name. Dash and product analysis. And we're going to double click on a new sheet. So this is a blank sheet, if you would. So let's go ahead and begin building our visualizations for the sheet. So we'll click edit. In the first visualization, we want to dump. As it says here, a percent quantity sold by flavor product pie chart. So let's copy this for a minute. We'll create a pie chart. So we'll go back here and left. We have our assets. Fields, master items, charts, and custom objects. Let's click on charts. We're going to select the pie chart asset or the pie chart, chart visualization. I can drag this anywhere to my sheet. We'll put it in the upper left corner. So, right, for the key sense visualizations, it's asking you for two things. It wants to slice, which is the dimension, and then the angle, which is the measure. Okay. So this is kind of like, hey, I want to know about this. I want to know about this particular um, entity in our database. So let's go ahead and click Add Dimension. It says, we want to know about the flavor products. And what's our angle? What's our measure? What are we measuring? What do we want to know about? Okay. So we'll click Add Measure. And it says, quantity sold. And the look up wizard stops and finds quantity sold for us. And whenever you add a measure, it automatically stops and asks you, you want to do a sum, a count, an average, a min, or a max. So we're doing a sum. So this gives us a sum for percent wise. It breaks down the percent of the sum of all the quantities sold. Okay. So we're going to click here to add our title and copy from the document. Okay, so now let's set some, let's set some attributes for the um, specific pie chart here, and this is on the, on the right hand side. And I can do some data, and we're going to cover this in the charts in a minute. Sorting, add ons, and finally appearance. So <clears throat> let's take a look at appearance. We have general, which means we can put a title in, we can put a subtitle in, we can put a footnote in. Alt state, alternate states we won't worry about right now. Presentation lets you say style, we can do the, <coughs> the pie chart or a donut chart. Stick with the pie chart. Value labels, it's auto. So I can even turn that off and I can set different labels. If I want, I can show the values or I can show the percent. Yeah. All right, so I'll turn that on. I'll show you how it works in a minute. Colors of legend. Okay, so we're gonna click this drop down here. It says colors. And you notice here it says show legend, so we'll turn it off. And colors, we're gonna turn this off too. We're gonna to say custom. We wanna do it by dimension. And what dimension do we wanna use? It says select dimension. I'm gonna click this drop down here. We're going to use the flavor description dimension. Color 
the chart. Now, I want to click Start Editing for a moment. Notice what happened when I clicked that specific color. The colors changed. They specifically changed to the colors we defined for a flavor I mentioned. So remember, Edit, Master Items, Dimensions, Flavor Description, the value colors we set here, now up here to represent each flavor here on this visualization. I'll click on Editing. I can go ahead and I can, if I select a particular slice, so let's select, for example, what it again. What happens when I click the check mark? It just gives me all the products we sold for that flavor, butter pecan, ice cream mini cups, ice cream bites, etc. Okay, notice what happened up here when I click that particular slice of pie. It shows us here that's been filtered out since so it's the flavor name, butter pecan. So, just want to show you that as a demonstration. I'm going to go ahead and click the X. So now we have our first visualization to the application. So let's add another one. So we'll click Edit Sheet. And go back to my assets. I'm going to specifically click Charts. I'm going to do a bar chart. That's our next visualization. So I'm going to drag and drop bar chart here. And I can make these larger and smaller. I can just simply click the corners here. So let's put it right here. It says here, let's go back to our business requirements document. It says quantity sold by flavor product larger. That, right, title. So now it wants, again, two, uh, two things it needs to create this chart. It needs to know the dimension and the measure. So we're gonna click dimension. We're going to do a click in my favorite product. And we're going to do our measure. And our measure is quantity sold. And we're going to do a sum. And so it basically gives you a basic, a basic bar chart. We're going to make some changes to this, okay? So we're going to start with our data, okay? Data. We're going to go down here and I'm going to click on measures, okay? So it's doing a sum of quantity. So I'm going to click that. Expand button here. I'm going to show you something really quick. Notice here where it says expression. If I click the FX, that's my expression editor. So this is where you can add more formulas. You can add up statements. Basically, here's where you do your programming. You do it in the expression, okay? Notice one thing at the very bottom corner it says, okay, some quantity sold. What that tells you is, is that your formula is correct. So let's say you build a if statements and formulas and what not? If this message does not appear, that means there's an error in your formula. So for easy formula, some quantity sold, like Excel, some. That's all we're doing. So we're going to cancel. And we're going to, like I said, we're going to make some changes to this chart. So let's see, label. It says here, label, some quantity sold. So notice here on my Y, it says some quantity sold. So I want to change that. We can, we can enter anything if we want. So we'll just say quantity. Center makes it a little, little bit more professional looking. Number formatting. Let's do number formatting. We're going to keep the, again, expand here. And it's obviously a number. We're going to click number, and I can format that number. Um, I'm going to click here. I'm going to select here 1000 because you don't sell a, you know, there's no decimal places needed for this visualization. So I'm going to click 1000. I can also have what's called a trend line, okay? We're going to do that. I'm going to click Add Trend Line, and I'm going to click Average. Those are going to select this here. I can select different ones. Add Trend Line, Average, Type. So I can give it a label, I'll type in a color. So I'm going to click here. I can click the drop down here. It gives you different kind of lines you can add. So we're just going to keep it simple. Add an Average. In fact, we can even label it. We can say Average. Yeah. Give, it a, give it a label. And Colors. So I'm going to make it a dash, and I can even change the colors on the screen. I'm going to turn this off, and I'm going to choose a color. I can obviously enter in the hex number. You're probably just going to choose the red, for example, okay, just so it sticks out. 
Now this time we're gonna look at sorting, okay? Look at sorting. Give us a sorts of type flavor, product and my quantity sold. Let's change the sort. I'm gonna drag and drop the quantity sold over the product. And notice what happens. It sorts it by highest to lowest. And obviously if I click the expand, I can change that to different kind of thing. I can do a descending, ascending, however I wish to do that. But let's just keep it auto, okay? And appearance, I'm gonna look appearance. Kind of like the same as the pie chart, there's different settings I can do. Presentation, I can make it vertical, I can make it horizontal. A look different, maybe even vertical if want. And colors, so I'm going to expand this, I'm going to expand colors, and it says auto, so I'm going to, again, I'm going to turn this off. I'm going to do by dimension, and obviously we're going to select this time again our flavor description. So now again, it matches the colors we assigned to each of the flavors, okay? So legend, we'll turn that off, we're going to show the legend. And over here, we can change our X values, we can change our labels, our orientation of it. But that's so there's different things you get, different attributes you can set for a chart, as well as our Y values too as well, okay? The scale, we can change the scale to narrow, medium, wide. And this comes more in play when you expand the chart, okay? We'll walk you through that in a little while. Got anything? And there's my, my chart. Um, I can also click edit. Let's go back to the requirements document for a second. It says here, under here it says here, to under presentation set the value labels to add. So why don't we do that? Presentation, value labels add. So it kind of gives us our quantity sold here for each of the specific flavors, okay? We've done editing. And if I click, let's say cookie dough, for example, it should, again, show us each product in the quantity sold for cookie dough. But notice what happened. A couple of things have happened when I selected that specific flavor. Not only did it change the charts here, okay, it sets our filter up here, flavor name, okay. It also changed the quantity sold in the sales transaction up here in KPIs, but it also sorted the filter to here, so it shows me my filter is cooking up. So various things happen, and walk through filters in the later video. I'm gonna clear out my filters. Now I'm gonna add my last visualization. So if we edit sheet, my last visualization is a quantity sold by year month line chart. Okay, so I like this title here. Copy it. So I go ahead and look at my assets and refine line chart. I'm going to add this visualization. It's a sensing for the line and then the height of line. So the X and the Y again. Let's hold me at the title. So my. So this is a little bit different than what we've done before. This time here, again, looking at our requirements document, it says here the dimension, the line, the X value is the sales date, year, month. Okay. So add line. So looking for. Sales date and it comes up automatically here. And scroll down all these different different fields if you would. It's created since it's going to create these fields, but it recognizes a date. So, for example, when we loaded the data and recognize the sales date, and create all these different fields for us to use. So, we're going to select year month, and I'll explain why we're going to select year month in a little bit. Okay, the height. What are we measuring? Okay, and measure then. Quantity sold, and we're doing some, and there we go. We have a line chart now. So again, let's make some changes, make this look a little bit more professional. So we're going to go ahead first of all. I'm going to click on measure to so data measures. Right now, I put my expand here. It says my expression is sum of quantity sold. We got that. The label we can 
at a level that says equality. So number for many, again, we're gonna do the same thing. Drop that number. We click a different format. I'm going to do just a notice my place. And I can do a departure. I'm going to add a line or trend line. We're going to add average. Okay, there you go. Let's see. Let's do average. Turn off colors. And I'll select the color. I'll do red again just to match the other line. I can worry about sorting, but for this particular, particular visualization, why I selected it as a measure, as a dimension, year month, because it puts it in year month order. Okay, so it starts with 2016, January, February, March, etc., and 2017, January, February, March. You gotta tell Click says to do that, okay? It's important. That's why it's important to do year month, okay? If we just did month, it would do January, January. January and February, 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 believe it or not. So, all right, click appearance again. And I can do again some styling here. I can make a line chart. Let's make an area chart. I can show data points. There's those little dots here. I can turn on the value labels if I wish. I'll keep it on for now. Colors and legend. Again, I can click here. Uh, I can change the colors if I want to. If I'm going to change it to a different color, why not? We're not going to worry about that. And I can change the labels, the position of labels, the scale. I can change all sorts of stuff here, okay? We'll click done editing. And then you have a nice, nice line chart. See if your pie chart, your pie chart, pie chart, and then you have your line chart, okay? In a future video, we're gonna, I'm going to demonstrate how to use the filtering, different filtering methods right now. But for now, I just simply wanted to build this particular sheet for our application. And that concludes this video.